a, it's a challenge right now, but okay. with the speculation tax. So. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. That's not, that's not what it was meant to capture. No. That's not cool. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh,
And he was looking for other ministry opportunities. And I said, great, why don't you do a concert for Barnabas, a fundraising concert? And um, I happen to have another good friend named Carolyn, who I've been trying to talk about doing a concert with. And I said, let me call Carolyn and see if she can come. And by God's grace, they both said yes, along with Spencer Capier, Roy Salmon, and Katie Ritson. And I want to thank you all for being here on a long weekend. And I know some of you actually postponed your getaway plans to be here tonight. So thank you for that. And before we begin, I'm not going to spend any time doing uh, introductions because they've been on the website and they're going to scroll around on the screen um, over and over. And so I don't want to take, any way, take away any time from the music. But I would like to now introduce Rob Bentall to open this event in prayer. Thank you. Thank you for coming, and may God be blessed. Let's pray. Lord, we invite you into this place. We uh, thank you for Regent. We thank you for the many lives that have been touched here. And now for this evening, as we get to enjoy some wonderful music, we just pray that you would speak to us through this and that you would be glorified. For we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Good evening. Good evening. It is lovely to see you. Uh, uh, we're going to do a couple of tunes. The first one, um, I was asked to take a school assembly in England. And uh, it was for about 900 children. And I was terrified. And I thought, what am I going to say? And then I thought, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to sing. And so uh, I wrote this song. And the idea was to kind of try and get the sense that there was something more to life than what they saw. Something more to life than what they saw. And it's the story of a business person. They take a, they're feeling depressed and they, and they, 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 they take a, they get on a plane and they, they take off and as they go through the clouds, they see angels dancing on a wing of a plane and they put their headphones on and they hear the singing of the praise of God going around the world even though they couldn't see it. And this, this person, her heart lifts and rejoices. Here we go. some monitors. Tonight you take me on a journey through these clouded skies. The light so hidden, breaking through to reach these heavy eyes. Lord, won't you help me through the sorrow and pain? Inside we are dying as the darkness comes again. But hear the angels singing glory, hallelujah. They're dancing on a wing of a plane. Open your ears to the laughter that's forever. They're singing and praising the name. Oh, oh. Dancing on a wing of a plane oh, oh, Dancing and praising the name Tonight your glory Tells the story of another world The sound of singing Is breaking through this broken world Break through the indifference, rise up over fear, beat down all the demons if the darkness reappears. But hear the angels singing glory, hallelujah, they're dancing on a wing of a plane. Open your ears to the laughter of forever, they're singing. 
singing and praising the name of oh, dancing on a wing of a plane oh, dancing and praising the name Hear the angels singing glory, hallelujah, the dancing on a wing of the plane. Open your ears to the laughter that's forever, the singing and praising the name. Oh, oh, dancing on a wing of a plane. Oh, oh, dancing and praising the name. Oh, hear the angels singing glory, hallelujah. They're dancing on a wing of a plane. Open your ears to the laughter that's forever. The singing and praising the name tonight. Your glory tells the story of another Hear the angels singing tonight. Can you hear them? Hear the angels singing tonight. Well, hear the angels singing tonight. Well, hear the angels singing glory, hallelujah. The dancing on a wing of a plane. Open your ears to the laughter that's fine. Singing and praising the name Oh, oh Dancing on a wing of a plane on a wing of a plane Oh, oh Dancing and praising the name Tonight Your glory Tells the story Of another world It's lovely to have Katie with me. Katie is um, a, a star of the Royal Northern College of Music and of the BBC and all sorts of other things. And it's also lovely to have Roy Salmon um, behind there. Roy, I did all my Canadian albums with Roy and um, a couple of English albums, which I'd also wished I'd done with Roy, but there you go. It's great to have him just uh, holding me together behind there. That's Roy Salmon for you. Wonderful. Let's give him a round. Roy Salmon. Well, this next song is, uh, is about the prodigal son. It's just a passage I really love, prodigal son. And, uh, and the interesting thing about the prodigal son is that, you know, he was at home and then he went away. And, uh, and, and then he came back, but it was, he knew it in a different way. And uh, T.S. Eliot has a little poem called Little Gidding, in which uh, he has a phrase about um, coming back and knowing the place that you came from, but seeing it again for the first time. Sometimes it's like that with spiritual things. You know, you, you kind of, you, you grew up in it and then you went away and then you find it again. So here we go. Can I find my way back? Will you take me back? For the road is rough that I'm on. Can I hear the sound of the soundless voice? Speak a word to my soul. Through the unknown gate I remember the path I have trod before. 
what I ran from is what I'm looking for. Heaven has come to me, has wrapped me round in His glory. Fragments of my broken life become a part of His story. Oh, 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 of His story. I pay back, work the shirt off my back, do whatever I can for your love. But it's not needed, you just laugh it away. For a dead man can't wake himself up. Through the unknown gate, I remember the path I have trod before. What I ran from is what I'm looking for. Heaven has come to me, has wrapped me around in His glory. Fragments of my broken life become a part of His story. Oh, 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 when you hold. Hold me. Heaven has come to me, has wrapped me around in his glory. Fragments of my broken life. Become a part of his story. Oh, 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 oh of his story. I'd like to introduce you properly now, Katie. Uh, Katie's done, uh, done a number of uh, songs, and she's just done a master's at the Royal Northern uh, College of Music. And uh, she, she performed uh, this song, and we saw her do it. And um, I had like eight, I don't know, eight strings and a whole band, and it was just wonderful. And uh, a guy called Wayne uh, Ellington was there. Now, he's, he's kind of got the semi-finals of The Voice or something, and that's Katie's coach, and so on and so forth. So we were in really exalted company. And so I said, Katie, you've got to do that song in, uh, in Vancouver. So do you want to say anything about it? No? Speaks for, Speaks for herself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's fairly self-explanatory. Sorry, I just talk a lot, you know, because I'm a pastor, you see, and that's what <laughs> pastors do, we talk.
Uh, it's lovely to be here. It's my first time in Vancouver. It's very exciting. Thank you all for being so lovely. I've not met a single person yet that's not been the friendliest person ever. So <laughs> thank you very much. That's really nice. Um, so that was, that was called Tonight. Um, this next one is called Home. Um, it's affectionately called Home Part One. Um, you sadly won't hear part two tonight, but um, there, is, there is a part two. Um, so uh, this, um, it was kind of written with two sort of, the kind of meaning behind it is twofold. Um, so it was written as a sort of, um, I felt quite challenged over the last couple of years as a lot of things have been changing in my life to kind of, to sort of just cling on to God and to cling on to, um, to cling on to his sovereignty. Um, so it was kind of written partly about that and also um, partly as a kind of thank you to my parents who have stood by me through all of that and who have, yeah, have been the best parents I could wish for. So, uh, so yeah, this is home part one. brought 
the sunshine laughter Time burns dark clouds Hey You've walked the whole world beside me ago uh, we were involved in the evening service together and uh, his name is Spencer Capier. You're going to see him later with the wonderful Carolyn um, but before then um, I've shenagled him uh, at a great fee to play, <laughs> to play uh, for this particular piece. This is a, a setting of a psalm, Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Well, of course the hills are scary because they got robbers in and various other things. And then the person says, ah, but I know somebody who's bigger than that. I looked up my eyes to the hills. Where shall I find help? My help comes from the Lord. Turn my eyes to see what the world can offer me. Who alone can be my help or lift my eyes from the fears that threaten me and vain hopes to set me free? Who alone can be my help?
Thank you very much, friends. Uh, many years ago, I was in Chicago. Uh, why would I go to Chicago? I don't know, but I did. And while I was there, I got a message from Spencer Capier. And Spencer said, uh, we're playing. And who's we, I said. He said, there's this girl called Carolyn. And uh, she's pretty good. And I'm going to tell you, she's really good. So would you please give a big hand to Carolyn <laughs> Yes. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? Right? So I, I owe you a lot, Steve, because you played his time very well. So you have a very integral behind it. Yes. Yes. Uh, and then Katie, how nice to be here close to the beginning of the legend of Katie. Trained professionals. It's all good. So the other reason why it's a thrill to be here is um, if there are two places on planet Earth that have been thin places for me, or places where everything gets a little bit porous and you have more of a sense of the kingdom of God being at hand and kind of invading in the best possible way earthly reality, those two places would be Rosie Collins, where I went to school and graduated 2014, and uh, so how sweet is it that those two things are coming together tonight and we get to be a part of something bigger than ourselves, um, building something that will last for generations uh, up at, at Barnabas. Um, it, it feels so good, not just because the music is so great, but because um, God designed us to be people that are part of something bigger than ourselves and the very best thing we can have is something to give.
the possession is having something. You got something to give, something to give. Uh -huh. So much. All right, we're gonna need your help. I'm gonna sing. Built from clay and breath of God. I need you to sing back. This is who you are, like this. This is who you are. Sing that. This is who you are. Excellent. I'll say. Made to house eternal love. You sing. This is who you are. Exactly right. And then I'll say. Matter and spirit come. Now this third one, same words again, but this is the highest degree of difficulty, melodically speaking. All right, so what you have to do is you have to go, this is who you are. All right, try that. This is who you are. Wow, that is fantastic. Actually, just, just stretch your neck a bit. I don't want any injuries. Just, okay, try it one more time. This is who you are. So good. I'll say, made to house, eternal love. And then it's the easy one again. You go, this is who you are. Built from clay and breath of God. This is who you are. Some of you will know that on verse 3, we practice a very important spiritual discipline. It involves turning to the person next to you, looking deeply into his or her eyes, and singing it straight to them, all right? This is who they are. You get to tell them who they are. This is your big chance, all right? So just prepare yourselves emotionally, spiritually. All right, here we go. Little lamb who wanders off. This is who you are One the shepherd won't leave lost This is who you are Rescued by his sacrifice This is who you are Now the hands and feet of Christ This is who you are Try those who you are again. Who you are. Who you are. Who you are. Who you are. If it sings this song to you, yeah, this is who you are.
his eternal fame. This is who you are. Bear his image on your soul. This is how you are. Listen till you finally know that this is who you are. Well, is it okay if we try something quite new for you, something that hasn't been recorded? We, of course, if you've never heard us before, here's another one you don't know. <laughs> but uh, this is, uh, I think the only time Spence and I have played this together was last year at Barnabas. Uh, the, the week that my husband Mark and I were up there uh, teaching, we were looking at uh, questions that Jesus asks in the Gospels. Jesus asks a lot of really interesting questions in the Gospels. And we were letting him ask those questions of us. And we were noticing how often he'll say, what are you looking for? What do you want? What do you want me to do for you? And how one of the big challenges in life is to figure out what you're looking for, what actually matters, what would mean that, uh, that you had done something uh, good and right with your one wild and precious life. And one of the things we tried that week at camp is, is we wrote our own obituaries. Because we thought, like, maybe that could get into focus. Uh, what we would, uh, nice light practice. Uh, what, what we hoped we did with our one wild and precious life. And so then, then we tried out this song. And it comes from um, a practice that monks uh, sometimes to this day still do, but especially did in the Middle Ages, which is as they passed each other in the hallways, they would say, memento more, which is Latin. That means remember your death. Remember, you will die, because they found it was incredibly focusing for how they wanted to live. So uh, here's a song about that. We'll see if we remember it. Last night I dreamed that I was dead and when the eulogy was read. All my friends and family said she really tried her best. I guess it was how she was wired To work so hard and be so tired Maybe now that she's expired She'll finally get some rest And then a monk walked in by dream And started laughing and That's when the whole thing turned into Latin Memento mori, remember you will die, so live the story you want to tell. Memento mori, you only get one life, so don't be sorry, just live it. To feel my beating heart I lay there breathing in the dark So glad to be alive And I looked at the world anew A bit like Ebenezer Scrooge And all my lists of my to-dos Just seemed to vaporize And it's really time to enter the Love will be the only thing that matters. 
Memento Mori Remember you will die So give the story You want to tell Memento Mori You only get one life So don't be sorry Just live your way Cause you can learn to live from your obituary Memento mori Remember you will die So live the story Okay, that went okay, so let me try one more uh, brand new one for you. I have some artist friends who like to say, uh, I like to serve what I'm cooking. So I'll, I'll sing you one more new one. Uh, this one, uh, our connection to Barnabas, my family's connection to Barnabas, we have um, been going up there to speak once, once a week, uh, every summer for 17 years. And it's just kind of part of the furniture of our lives. Our son Ben was uh, baptized there and is working there this summer. Um, our daughter Beth was one when we started there. And I just put out this uh, parenthood record, all these tender songs about uh, having children. And I can still remember clearly uh, singing them in the, in the teaching space at Barnabas, uh, looking out the window and seeing her in full-on temper tantrum in the, out in the courtyard. <laughs> And uh, just pay no attention to the, <laughs> the window, but uh, we have so many great memories there. We, uh, my, my dad passed on to glory one year when we were there speaking. And then uh, uh, so many of our friends there have walked with us through uh, the recent loss of my mom, who was uh, really huge in my life. So uh, I just have a song uh, uh, processing the loss my mom was to me. I know not everyone had a mom like my mom, uh, but maybe you'll have some connection point to the song, and if it's okay with you all, I'll try it out. When I was just becoming right back at the very start, I'm guessing my first music was the beating of her heart. What a song that must have been. What a song that must have been And when I made my arrival I was placed in her embrace So my eyes first learned to focus On the contours of her face What a sight they must have seen Side they must have seen, and I guess that 
So I'm pretty sure you never quite recover When at last you lose the one who loved you First time that I skinned my knees in early childhood years She cleaned me up and bandaged me and wiped away my tears And then she taught me how to laugh Yeah, she taught me how to laugh And when I was trying for letting me try that for you. I got through it. Uh, just before uh, we bring uh, <laughs> before we bring Rob up to, to uh, talk to us a little bit and send us into the intermission, we wanted to sing uh, a, a song about why we're here. We have uh, Roy Salmon up again, and he, he's going to play um, the accordion. So if you have a pacemaker or... Um, <laughs> When, when we were just getting started, Spencer and I had to play at the, uh, it, at the Grand Old Opry stage. Well, it wasn't in the Grand Old Opry, it was actually at the Dove Awards, but it was at the Grand Old Opry stage, and we had an accordion player with us. And can you just say what the, the big stage hand came and said to our accordion player? Put the accordion down and back away slowly. Yes. <laughs> but when Roy plays it, it's music. So, here we go. And learns phrases in Latin She is an author Or maybe a poet A genius But it's just this world doesn't know it She works on a novel 
most every day If you laugh, she will say Slips away just like hourglasses. Sees the day, day, for days forgotten, and nothing will stand in your way. Sees the day. Left his six-figure job for a mission position. He's healing the sick in an African clinic. He works in the dirt and writes home to the cynics. He says we work through the night so most every day as we watch the sunrise. Slips away just like hourglass and sees the day, day, for days from garden, and nothing will stand in your way. Sees the day, da 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 Who's been doing some thinking? He's as bitter and cold as the whiskey he's drinking. He's talking about fear, about chances not taken. If you listen to him, you can hear his heart breaking. He says, One day you're a boy, and the next day you're dead. When someone had said Seize the day Seize whatever you can As life slips away Just like hourglass And seize the day Oh grace from God's hand And nothing will stand the day. the days you are given. I'm trying to spend mine on the business of living. So I'm singing my songs from this station fundraiser for Barnabas Stage. You can laugh if you want us to say. Will you sing it? Sing season the day. Sing those la di da la di da da la di da 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 The words are easy. la di da 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 la di da di da la di da di da da da
that song. Barnabas in the New Testament was nicknamed Son of Encouragement. For 33 years, Barnabas is trying to encourage and strengthen families, to draw them closer to Jesus, to have stronger relationships with themselves and their loved ones. We've embarked five years ago on a mission to uh, strengthen our uh, base, uh, allowing us to do a better job of caring for families. It was an ambitious goal. We, uh, it was about $8 million that was needed in capital funding. We only had 100,000 as we started the journey. But as a board, we felt that God had said to us to go ahead. But there was two key criteria. One was we were to trust him. And second, we weren't to go into debt. So for the last years, we've just step by step gone forward, and God is blessed. In April, we opened our kitchen, a long-term dream to have a commercial kitchen at Barnabas, and it's been marvelous. The staff have been blessed and encouraged and helped, and the food that's been coming out has been wonderful. But we're still not done. We've got about a million and a half left to raise to complete the project. The next stage is to open our dining room the September to June dining room, that is. And uh, we need about 75,000 to do that. And uh, we're trusting that by October, that could be completed. With the location of the kitchen in this new building, it would mean that we have to transport food about 100 yards. And in the rain in November would be pretty tough to do. So we're trusting that the new dining room will be finished by October. It's an audacious goal, but it's something we think is a possible. And our challenge tonight would be that us here could uh, play a part in reaching that goal. There, uh, at the intermission and after, there's a table set up. If you wanted to help us do that, that would be great. You can also do it online. But uh, we're just delighted you're here. And we trust that your family is strengthened by this time today or tonight. And uh, we wish you uh, God's blessing. Thank you, Cheryl, for all that you've done to put this evening together. Come up. I just want, I'm not this tall. <laughs> I just want to do a few housekeeping things before you go out for the intermission. We'll take a 15 minute break and the refreshments are there. There are some soft drinks and Perrier water and cookies and really amazing baked goods. Uh, so please help yourself and just really think deeply about um, how much you might be able to contribute to help this project get a kickstart tonight uh, for this dining room. Many, many families have been blessed at Barnabas, ours especially, I'm in that crowd, and uh, so that's the only reason I'm here. I would do anything for Barnabas. <laughs> so uh, no food and drinks when you come back in here, only bottled water. So 15 minutes. And we'll see you, we'll start again. Thanks.
Hey, Cheryl. Cheryl, uh, I'm not your size. Okay, everybody, come on back in. Let's begin. Come and gather. Just as uh, we get started again here, um, I couldn't read something that I wanted to read before. Uh, and I'm just going to read that, and then I have one announcement to make. This was a poem that was written last night by three mums that uh, were at Barnabas in our first family camp. So I'll try and read it this time. It's a, a lament. Uh, it's a tra um, They've taken Psalm 3 and... Uh, wrote this. O oh Lord, how many are my chores? Many piles of laundry are rising up against me. Many are saying of me, Mummy, I'm hungry. Sila. But you, O oh Lord, are a Barnabas around me. My glory and the coffee in my hand. Sila. I cried aloud to the Lord. And, the, and you sent me to Barnabas. A banquet was laid before me. My kids were put to bed. I lay down and slept in a comfy king-size bed. I woke again, for the chocolate cakes and desserts sustained me. I will not fear, though my children rail against on me from every side. Arise, Lord. 
Reconcile our hearts to daily life as we leave this place of peace. Give us courage to live a life worthy of our calling. People were transformed last week because people like you have stood with us to make it possible. I just heard that we have been offered tonight a matching gift of 25, up to $25,000. So any monies that's raised up to 25,000 will be matched. Praise God. Thank you. Wow, that is, uh, that's wonderful to hear that, Rob. Um, there is something about just getting on a ferry and uh, just leaving it, it all behind. And, and uh, I, my, one of my first songs I wrote was just taking a little, my first ferry journey, actually. And uh, I, I saw the sun setting behind a mountain. And uh, I, I, my, my feeling was, there's something beyond there that I want to go and see. And of course it's Japan, I know that. But, <laughs> you know, actually there was a longing to see what was beyond. And, uh, and so um, I wrote this particular song, uh, Lead Me to the Light, which um, is uh, the first album that I ever did here with, uh, with Roy Salmon. And, uh, and some of you might know that. So some of you even sang on it, actually. You, don't, you can sing along if you want to. <laughs> Stormy waters churning the foam We are out to sea See the horizon calling me on to where I want to be. All my ways turn into dust, but your light is leading me on and on. Lead me to the light over the mountain. Lead me to the song that's over the sea Lead me to the Lord over the heavens To the one that's calling me Lead me to the light Lead me to the light Living apart, there's an ache in my heart For this other world Living in time, you're tasting the wine of this other world. All my ways turn into dust, but your light is leading me on and on. Lead me to the light over the mountain. Lead me to the song that's over the sea Lead me to the Lord over the heavens To the one that's calling me Lead me to the light Lead me to the light Haven't you heard there must be a dying Didn't you know our flesh is as grass haven't you heard, you know, I read it somewhere Eternity's in a man's heart Lead me to the light over the mountain Lead me to the song that's over the sea Lead me to the Lord over the heavens To the one that's calling me Lead me to the light Lead me to the light Lead me to the light
have such happy memories of getting on BC ferries <laughs> eventually. And, um, <laughs> sorry, I know <laughs> those lineups are terrible, aren't they? You know, anyway, this is a song I wrote to encourage our church. And, um, and it's called The Harvest is Coming. And um, it was, uh, uh, it's just, it's, you know, it's, there's going to be a great harvest. It, it, it's going to be glorious in the end. Heaven is not going to be um, like a pokey little, um, is that all right to say that? Yeah, anyway, a, a really sort of awful little party. You know, it's it's going to be the thing that we all want to be at. It's the thing that everybody wants to be at. It's going to be huge. So um, here we go. This is called The Harvest is Coming. <laughs> Christ is glorious, seated in holiness on his throne. All of creation shall bow to his splendor and praise the Lamb. So out of this weariness now, come strengthen your hand on the plow. For one day Jesus will return. You need to learn this chorus. The harvest is coming. The glory will come. The King is returning. And we must walk on. This wonderful trinity, majesty, glory will see that day. The harvest is coming when Jesus returns. Tell his servants who sow in tears they will reap with joy. For all his children shall see the face of the stricken lamb. So going to all who've not heard, Spread the good seed of the word For one day Jesus will return Yes, he will The harvest is coming The glory will come The king is returning And we must walk on this wonderful trinity, majesty, glory will see that day. The harvest is coming when Jesus returns. Praise the Father and praise the Spirit and praise the Lamb. Nothing can falter the sovereign purposes of His plan. So what of this weariness now? Come strengthen your hand on the plow. For one day Jesus will return. The harvest is coming, the glory will come. The King is returning, and we must walk on. Wonderful Trinity, Majesty, glory will see that day. The harvest is coming. The harvest is coming. The harvest is coming when Jesus returns.
This is, um, I've asked Katie to, I asked Katie to sing this. This is, a, this is a hymn by, we think, Isaac Watts. And the tune is, I think, a North American folk song. So it's called, Alas, and Did My Saviour Bleed? Alas, and did my Saviour bleed, and did my Sovereign such a world as I was it for crimes that I had done he groaned upon the tree amazing pity grace unknown and love beyond degree Well might the sun in darkness hide and shut its glories in When Christ the mighty maker for man the creature's sin Thus might I hide my blushing face While his dear cross appears Dissolve my heart in thankfulness and melt my eyes in tears Drops of grief can never repay the debt of love I owe. Here, Lord, I give myself away. It's all that I can do. And did my Saviour bleed, and did my sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for such a word? As I. Oh, wow.
well, um, I'm, I'll introduce this one. While this next one's mine. Um, so thank you very much for being so lovely. Um, I met a lot more of you in the interval, and you're still all the friendliest people I've ever met. So, <laughs> so thank you very much. That's still that's still 100% true. Um, thank you all for being so welcoming and so lovely, and um, listening so kindly. It's dreamy, um, and it's dreamy to be here. Um, this is this is my personally my last song um, before I play some more with Steve. Um, this is called "The Only Thing on My Mind." Um, I hope you enjoy it. I think the lyrics are probably pretty self-explanatory, so um, I won't I won't go into those. But you'll probably you'll probably pick it up. There's a man at the bar trying to talk to me I can tell by his breath he's had too much to drink I just smile and I nod every once in a while You are the only thing thoughts like a Manchester rake I can feel when you're coming from miles away It is beauty and danger and I'm hypnotized It's a really nice to refer to Manchester rain. You know it rains twice a week in Manchester, don't you? Once for three days and then for four. And, uh, so you can say that about, uh, about uh, Vancouver in the winter, I think, as well. But anyway, there you go. Uh, this song um, is uh, our last song we're going to do, um, but we're going to join Carolyn a bit later, which is going to be fun. And uh, I did an album called Home Tonight, and I found a brilliant sculpture by David Robinson. Now, I, I worked for Harry Robinson, 
um, uh, of uh, just very precious guy to me. And David and I did lots of stuff together as well, just going around and singing places. But he did this wonderful sculpture called On Holy Ground, and it's sort of the earth. And you, you can see it if you buy a CD. And um, <laughs> sorry, that was shameless, wasn't it, really? Um, anyway, but there you can see it. And uh, so I, but I, I thought it's such a great cover, but I haven't got a song about it. So I wrote a song about it. And, uh, and it was really as what, you know, he's standing on holy ground, what, and he's looking up. And what is he looking at? He's looking at the creator of everything. And what we were made to do was simply to give thanks and praise to our God from our heart. You know? So that's what this song is about. I want to hear it on the mountains to tell you earth. I want to see it in the valleys, the song of the heavens fills the Standing barefoot, gazing into the sky, the wonder of wonders reflected in his eye. Can I see what you see? Bright, shining face. Can I hear what you hear? The wonder word of grace. All the world waits without a sound. We stand on holy ground. I want to hear it on the mountains. To sing of your word. I want to tell it on the valleys. The song of the heavens fills the earth. Do -do -do -do. Why are you gazing, looking into the sky? He knows your longing, he hears your cry. For we are waiting the end of all our pain. For he is coming, his justice shall reign. All the world waits without a sound. We stand on holy ground. I want to hear it on the mountains to tell of your world. I want to see it in the valleys, the song of the heavens. Fills the earth, da 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 To steer it on the mountains To tell of your word I want to see it in the valleys The song of the heavens Oh, I want to see it on the mountains To tell of your word I want to see it in the valley The song of the heavens Fills the earth through that and that
Well, that was a feast. <laughs> are, are you all full, or do you have room for just a little bit more? You okay? All right. That's so good. There's a time I can recall Four years old and three feet tall Trying to touch the stars in the cookie jar Both were out of reach Later on in my high school It seemed to me a little cruel How the right words to say always seemed to stay just out of reach well i should not have thought it strange the growing causes growing pains because the more we learn the more we know we don't know anything but still it seems a tragic fate living with this quiet ache the constant strain for what remains just out of reach we are reaching for the future we are reaching for the past and no matter what we have we reach for more we are desperate to discover what is just beyond our grasp But maybe that's what heaven is for Forget. Dressed up in my Sunday best Trying not to squirm and to maybe learn Better what the preacher preached Later lying in the dark I felt a stirring in my heart And though I longed to see what could not be seen I still believe Guess I shouldn't think it on Until we see the face of God The yearning deep within us Tells us there's more to come So when we taste of the divine It leaves us hungry every time but One more taste of what awaits When heaven's gain we are reaching for the future We are reaching for the past And no matter what we have We reach for more We are desperate to discover What is just beyond our grasp But maybe that's whatever is for I believe that's what heaven is for there's a time I can recall four years old and three feet tall trying to touch the stars in the cookie jar both were out of reach. So I mentioned my son Ben is here, and he mentioned that. Uh, 
Uh, a song we were thinking we might do is his favorite song. So that clinched it, so we're going to try it. We haven't done it in a while. So if this is really bad, his name is Ben Ahrens, A-R-E-N-D-S. Uh, but his little, his little sister, Beth, uh, who I mentioned in the first half, she, she graduated from high school last night. She's a little, a little tired to be here today. Um, and I was thinking about... Uh, this song is called Not a Tame Lion, and, it, and it's inspired by that picture Lewis gives us in, in the Narnia stories of this God who is uh, fierce in his love for us, not safe but good. And uh, when Beth was little, uh, the first Narnia movie came out, The Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. And uh, we, we let her watch it. We just kind of fast-forwarded through the scary bits. And about halfway through, she was, I don't know, like three or four, and she had this major epiphany halfway through the movie and um, after that she would just walk up to random people on the streets of Vancouver and go, Aslan is God. <laughs> we go, okay, thanks little girl. So, <laughs> this is for Ben and Beth. Make you in my image more often than I. I keep you like a treasure in my jewelry box. But you smash through my illusions like only you can do. And tear apart these idols that I make of you. And oh, sometimes you whisper, but is fire. Your spirit is a hunter who no runner can tire. Your light shines in the darkness to the corners of the earth. Your laughter is the music of the universe. And no, you're not safe, but Oh, you're not a lucky rabbit's foot. You're not safe. 
done that one for a while. <laughs> ah, well, uh, let's sing this. Is it, Roy, you want to come up and play with us? Shove the room. 
Each generation of saints who believed and received the prize, they have looked into his eyes. It's the great cloud of witnesses cheering us on each step that we go. It's the Some of you know this story, but uh, you'll have to hear it again because some of them don't know the story. So, uh, years ago, I was on a tour with a buddy of mine, Steve Bell. Some of you know Steve Bell, great singer songwriter in Winnipeg. Yeah, awesome. And another guy named Bob Bennett from California. And we did this thing called the Living Room Tour. It was so fun. And we were in uh, Thunder Bay, Ontario, on purpose. <laughs> Like Steve been in Chicago. These things just happen. I don't know. And um, uh, uh, Steve Bill was about to sing an old hymn. And by way of introduction, he told the story of going to visit his grandmother one time. And I guess he hadn't been to see her in quite a while. And in the course of spending the day with her, it started to dawn on him that most days, if she didn't have a family member come by, she had to be spending an awful lot of time just by herself. And I guess he started feeling bad about that because after a while he said, you know, Gee, Nanny, what are you doing with your time these days? And she replied that actually she was really busy learning as many psalms and hymns as possible in preparation for glory. That was her answer. Now, I was blown away. Both of my grandmothers were wonderful, God-fearing women, but I know for a fact if I had asked them that question, they would have said, Oh, mostly I just wait for you to visit. <laughs> Anyway, the next day, I'm flying back home from Thunder Bay back to Vancouver, and I'm thinking about Steve's grandma and how she spent her life. She was a missionary in China for about 40 years. She understood that this time we get on earth is precious and that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit love to include us in what they're up to. That's a lot of what tonight has been about, just this opportunity to do something valuable that counts with our one wild and precious life. But she also understood that job one, right out of the chute, and the most foundational job is just getting to know our maker, just getting ready to meet him face to face. I heard several of you say how powerful uh, Steve's uh, sermon was at St. John's on Sunday, and I was asking him about it, and he said, you know, you can start with 50 things you should do before you die, but it eventually just comes down to one thing you should do before you die. And Steve Bell's grandma understood that. So I'm flying back home, and this song starts flooding into my brain. And there's other songwriters in the room. You know the rules. I think this is terrible. I am stealing Steve Bell's grandmother. I'm stealing another songwriter's grandmother. There's laws about this sort of thing. <laughs> 
So I tried to stop the song, but I was on WestJet, so it was like seven flights to get home. And <laughs> by the time I got home, the song was done, and I didn't know what to do. So I emailed Steve. I told him what happened. I said, you know, could I, could I borrow your grandmother? And uh, he's, he's so generous. He said, oh, I'll just take her. Uh, so here she is. She's had 80 some years, most of them good, but she's not gonna be here much longer. Now the body gets weak, like she knew it would, but the spirit just keeps getting stronger. She's got her Bible and him book beside her. And her tongues up inside her She's getting ready She's getting ready She's getting ready For glory yeah, She's getting ready She's getting ready She's getting ready For glory Getting ready for glory. 
Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Uh, we're going to do one more song here, all of us, and hopefully you'll help us with it. Uh, we really do want to thank Cheryl. I know we thanked her in the first half. Cheryl, when Cheryl had this idea, uh, I was thrilled by the idea of doing s stuff with Steve. I didn't even know about Katie and what a treasure she was going to be. Of course, I always love playing with Spencer and Roy, but I said to her, look, you have about four weeks to turn this thing around. It's summer. It's Vancouver. It's a long weekend. Like, there's gonna, it's going to be us and a couple of cousins and... <laughs> um, but when Cheryl decides something needs to happen, she makes it, she makes it happen. And so look, can we just thank Cheryl for her vision and putting this together. And then uh, Kathy and Rob and everyone at Barnabas, just thank you for being the guardians of a thin place that has meant the world to so many of us. Um, there's just no words for what, what a gift that is. And thank you to all of you that are helping uh, make that possible. I'm going to move to the piano. They're going to come up, and we'll all sing together to close things off. Well, man is born to trouble all the days of his life. As the sparks fly upward from bonfires at night They fill up the heavens with pinpoints of light I've got a hope, I've got a hope I've got a hope that is not We'll sing now with us. I've got a hope. I've got a hope. I've got a hope that is not of this world. I've got a hope. I've got a hope. I've got a hope that is not of this world. Time is turning like a plow in the field. Roots up the earth and what is hidden is revealed. So in the future, well, the past, it is sealed. I've got a home, sing it. I've got a home. I've got a home that is not of this world. It's only with myself, but, but the, the other, other half is something I can't help. Lest I should stumble, I try not to forget. Every hair is number, every footstep and every breath. And this life we're living it will, will not end, end in death. I've got a home. I've got a home. I've got a home that is not of this world.
So once again, I'd like to thank everyone that came out tonight. And I also would like to extend our thanks to Regent College, who was very generous in letting us have this venue um, tonight. And um, I'm sure you want to know what we've raised. I know it's been a very quickly organized event, but uh, we managed to raise tonight $4,000 between the GoFundMe campaign plus what has been donated here, which when doubled is actually $8,050. So um, not a bad start. <laughs> this event was live streamed, but again, do the short notice, and not a lot of people knew about it, so it will be available for viewing. And if you can share it with your friends, that would be marvelous. And the campaign continues um, on GoFundMe, and people can watch the entire concert and still make a donation. So let's get the dining room built, and hopefully by this fall. Thank you.